To get started, make a duplicate of your clip and place it on video slot number 2. Then go further on the timeline on the place where you want to apply the photo effect and then make a razor cut there. And everything that is in front of that razor cut you can delete. Next step is that you can right click on your second clip, select change clip speed and then select freeze frame. And that second clip is gonna be your photo so you can decide where it's gonna end. I'm picking here so I'm taking down the length of that second clip. Then I'm going to effects library and I'm looking for colored border and then I'm dragging it and dropping over my second video. You can change the color of the border but I think white is working just fine with the photo effect. Then I'm right clicking on the second clip and then selecting new compound clip. Then I'm going to inspector and I'm selecting the top diamond which is gonna activate the keyframes. And this is gonna be our first one. Then I'm moving further in the timeline. And then I'm gonna select this transform icon right here. Then I'm gonna take down the edges of that border, which is gonna reduce the size of that video. This is gonna be our two keyframes. Then I'm moving further in the timeline. And then I'm going back on my screen. And then I'm rotating it a little bit to the right. And I'm taking it even more on size by pulling the corners. Also, I'm adjusting the angle and I'm putting it into the corner. And by this time we're having just three keyframes. I'm gonna play it through so you can see what we're having by now. It's looking all right, so we're gonna move on. Then we hit the spline tab, then we select our keyframes. I'm highlighting my second and third keyframe. I'm going upper in that area and I'm selecting this so they can be rounded and more smooth. Then I'm gonna close the spline tab and I'm gonna go on my first video, which the second one is starting right on that area and I'm gonna make a cut. Then I'm going to video transitions and I'm looking for a flash. So I'm getting it and I'm leaving it between my two cuts on the video slot number one clip. Also the default settings is too long so I'm gonna reduce the length of that flash by pulling the corners of the transition. And our final touch is to bring some life into the footage so I'm gonna add a background music and also I'm having some click sound effect which is gonna power up the transition. And by combining everything together this is what you have it. And this is how you can make a photo effect in the ventures of. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to like it, subscribe for more, and also you can check out this video right here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.